evil and comfortable living feeble. All over the world, we are back to go. Truth is coming at this retreat. Right. All right. This is uh, the Lansing Police. Oh, no, this is different. Article 9. Jacksonville. All right. Jacksonville shooting. Racist gunman kills three black people in Florida store. Damn. I could have sworn we had something similar like that mm-hmm. happen in, uh, what was that, uh, Albany? I know yeah, it was yeah, New Albany. York. Albany. Yeah. Buffalo. Mm-hmm. Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo. Yeah. And in uh Char- 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 Charleston, 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 uh, Carolina, Carolina. Yep. Carolina, and everywhere else across the world. Right. But somehow we uh we don't know what we're talking about. Huh? We yeah, but Jews. I want to see. <laughs> listen to how they got killed. That's yeah. what I want you to listen to. Mm. Go ahead, read it, read it, read it, read uh, it. Can can y'all like? I and can... all of y'all that say y'all colorblind, pay attention. Pay attention, please. Yeah, yeah awesome. it, it can. You guys. Yeah, on. I got you. The man described as as white. No, 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 and, no, no. A gunman. Oh, sorry. A gunman killed three black people in a racial motivated act, then killed all right, himself. All right, I'm gonna read it. A gunman <laughs> killed three black people in a racially motivated attack, then killed himself in Jacksonville, Florida. So this white man killed black people on purpose, right? Because the color of their skin, not the content of their character. Damn. For all you Damn. Martin Luther King uh, 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 enthusiasts. That you're not black. Right. Understand this. Listen, and we're going to keep telling y'all that. These people do not like you. Right. And the Bible tells us so. Right. Go to Ezekiel 36 real quick. Bring it out. Because God already told us the mindset of, of our oppressors. Stop trying to hold hands with this man. Stop trying to kumbaya with this man and jump in the back of the, the Lord's army and learn how to march. That's what you need to do. That's Read right. that. What verse you want to Ezekiel 35 and 5. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5. Because hey, hold on. And this is in Florida. Right. It happened in New York in the yep. north. Now it's happening it's in, in the, the south. south. Right. It don't matter where you go. It's the same spirit on all of these people. Right. To this right. Understand that. Read it. Read it. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5. Uh-huh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. A what? Perpetual hatred. A perpetual hatred. In Florida, whether you believe it or not, is one of the most racial states in the country. Read it again. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred uh-huh. and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel Read. by the force of the sword uh-huh. in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So God says that these people got a perpetual hatred for the children of Israel. Right. Mm. When you want to wonder, we're the same people that every time you ask us what color is Jesus, even though Jesus is known, it's historical fact that he's black. Right. 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 Because we don't want to offend the white man. Right. Because we want to be friends with the white man. We'll say he white don't have a Jesus. color. Right. He's mm-hmm. clear. It doesn't matter. God is love. Right. Yeah. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, mm. the white man will say, I hate you. <laughs> And I'm going to kill you because I hate you. And matter of fact, I'm going to write three manifestos so everybody knows that I hate you and your people. Because I want to inspire the rest of my brothers who hate you and won't say it publicly. I want to give them hope that you can hate in peace. Mm. (laughs) But understand, y'all, stop trying to hold hands with these people. Mm. They have a perpetual hatred against us. How much hatred? That they'll wake up early in the morning mm-hmm. and drive to the Dollar General. Well, they know black people at. Yep. Right. They know black people at Dollar General. Right. They ain't go to Costco's. Nah. They ain't go to Tiffany's. Nope. They ain't go to Home Depot. Nope. They say, ah, oh, let's go to the Dollar General. Family Dollar. Dollar. <laughs> hey, right. I know they in there. Right. Mm-hmm. I know I know <laughs> I can get some black people That's crazy, at man. the Dollar General. Sad but true. That's a double win. Let's read, let's read the rest of this article. Because I just said it, but it's it's in the article. Go ahead. The man described. The man described as white and in, in his early 20s. Hold on. How old is he? Oh. In his early 20s. This man was probably born in 1999, uh, uh, right. 1998. Right. He don't know nothing about slavery. Nope. He don't know nothing about Jim Crow. Right. He don't know nothing about the civil rights. He grew up on 50 Cent in NSYNC. <laughs> <laughs> and he still hates black people. Damn. In his early 20s. Eminem. That's what y'all got to understand. It it, it, it ain't about slavery. It's a spirit that's within mm-hmm. these people. Yep. Right. right. Yep. Give me that, that spirit ain't right in him. In her back. Back it. Give me that real quick. It don't matter. They the same people, y'all. It's the spirit. It's the spirit. It's the spirit. So you can't change them. Right. You can't. You can't change them. 
the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Read it again. Behold, his soul which is lifted up. His soul which is lifted up, read. Is not upright in him. Is not upright in him. His spirit is not right. Right. Understand that. These people have a uh, twisted mind. Right. Our minds are jacked up because of what we went through, because of the curses that was placed upon right. us. Right. From the moment that these people were born, they have that spirit of hatred you upon them. Right. Understand that. Go ahead, take the call. From hey, the Shalom. Were... Turn, turn down your uh, TV, please. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom call. What's your name? Question or comment? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baton Rouge. What's your question or comment, sis? Hmm. My comment is, I just left out a Dollar General, um, Dollar General store, mm-hmm. and I agree with the prophet. Um, as soon as I walk in, they just had some. He the might over the um, intercom go and sit there and say about um, this place is being monitored with um, if you're stealing or anything. I just totally asked the, um, another sister that was in there. I was like, that didn't make that didn't mess with your spirit that made you feel uncomfortable coming right. in here. Yep. I said. Yeah. Um, she said, oh, no, I, I didn't bother me. They do it all the time. I said, well, it did to me. So I'm leaving the body store, and I left. Oh, so precious. I'm just, yeah, it really, really is getting out of order. <laughs> I was just calling in to comment on that. Okay. All praises to you, brother. I've been following. I, I will be um, attending here in Baton Rouge whenever I find how to get to the place. Okay. I'm looking forward to coming in. And I thank y'all to keep on doing what y'all doing. God is very pleased. All praise thank to you. the most high sister. Thank you for tuning in. So, like, like, hey, let's go back to what uh uh Santa Thaya just went over. Mm-hmm. The spirit that that when even when we 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 giving money to these people, yeah, they always got a spirit of hatred mm-hmm. against us. They don't see us as equals. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, we want to say we colorblind and we right. don't, but they keep pushing you further and further away from them. Mm. I think uh, when you research it, today we're more segregated in the school system mm. than we were in the 1960s. Damn. Why is that? Because guess what? All the white folks move far away from black people. Mm. Yep. Yep. As far as way as they can. Because in the 60s and 70s, everybody's houses were still, uh, you could still kind of buy in the white neighborhood. Now they make it with right. no, you can't afford <laughs> to live out here by us. Damn. You got to stay by, by, by the rest of the niggas. Because out here, it costs a lot of money. Yeah, and you're getting over there. And then when they get tired of living there, they drop the price, and then they come right. take your yep. neighborhood. There you go. Mm. That's what's Gen- going on right now. Yeah. That's what's going on. The, the, what is the Urban Renewal Project? They're <laughs> moving all the Negroes out. Mm. So, read the rest of this article. The man uh, described as white. The man described as white, and in his tw- early 20s. All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question or comment? Where are you calling from? Yeah, brother AJ, I'm calling from Los Angeles. How are you, sir? Doing good, doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Uh, b- based on uh, what you guys are talking about right now with Esau, how he takes us out, how we have to deal with him in our everyday lives, and it's not a good experience for us. I'm 64 years old, and I grew up in the South. And I had to deal, I've had a bad experience with Esau since I was a, a nine year old boy. Right. So my question to you is how do you guys deal with uh, Deuteronomy 23 and 7? Easy. Yeah. Uh, give me that in uh, Romans. Romans 12. Yep, give me that Romans 12. That's, that's, a, that's an excellent question because a lot of people don't understand how to deal with them. Remember, we understand who our father is. We know exactly who they are. It actually makes me easier to deal with them because I know what's awaiting them. All right. You just got to yep. go ahead. You know, but what I'm talking about, though, I understand that. But, but what I'm saying is that the scripture says first not to avoid them. Mm-hmm. Brother, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I, I, I can honestly say I hate him with a passion, <laughs> and, I'm, and I struggle with that. Right. So look, you can be angry, but sin not. Right, right, Understand right. that. No, 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 I, no. I would never hurt them because I feel the most high. Right. I would there never hurt them. Well, that that answer your saying. question. That right. answer your own yeah. question then. But give me that Romans. I'm gonna give you a scripture to back it up. Seventeen or eighteen. 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 Okay. Romans chapter twelve, verse eighteen. Mm-hmm. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, uh-huh. live peaceably with all men. So the Bible says to live peaceably with all men. That's what that's what God calls us to do. We gotta patiently wait. Hey, mute your uh, mute your mute your phone or your or your TV, please. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, you know how it says, uh, I, I did a lot of research on this. Okay. And I, and I went to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8. And you know it says where uh, Solomon says it's a time to hate? Right, right. 
I, I went through that. You know where, and, and, and I went through other Bibles, other versions. You know where it takes me? It takes me to Romans 9, 13. Mm -hmm. So look, I'm going to check this out. The white man hates us, right? We know he hates us, right. but you wouldn't know yes. when you look at him. They understand. But I can't love him, though. I don't no, know how I, to love I him. Tell you to love him. I didn't tell you to love him. I'm telling you how to deal with them, right. how to manage okay. and right. deal with them. Because Esau, okay. to this day, they brainwashed us. To they white, Black people think we lo they love us. Right, right. Yeah. Black people think I the know. white man loves us, but right. behind closed doors, we know what they're doing. So we got to take that same mindset. Oh, yeah. No, the Israelites, they cool. Right, right. But you do what you do. You understand that? That makes sense. I understand. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Well, it it kind of goes to what Christ says. Well, whoever said, be, be, be as wise as a serpent. Right. And as there you as go. Dove. There right. you go. There you go. 100%. That, that is my attitude toward them. But, but oh, I can't, I struggle with my feelings because <laughs> I wouldn't hurt them because I fear the most high. Right. But, don't but, worry. But I, like I said, I've struggled all my life with that, man. Don't, don't to, worry, my brother. I, I don't there's know gonna, how to love them. There's going to come a time where the fishes are going to become hunters. You yeah. understand that? So, so, so the most high understands what, my struggle? Yes, 100%. Give me that in songs uh, uh, with David. About, uh, he hated with you guys, a perfect man. You guys bring a lot of light to a lot of darkness in yes, the scriptures sir. that we don't understand. You guys are really bringing it out, and I really commend you guys for it. All praise you to the most You guys are doing an awesome job. And my prayers are constantly with you guys. You guys are doing big things all over the globe, brother. Most high, very pleased. All praise to the most high. Listen to the scripture, brother. I want to let you know that that feeling you got is a righteous feeling. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 139 and verse 22. Uh-huh. I hate them. Start at 21. Verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, uh -huh. that hate thee. Do not I hate them that hate thee. Read. And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? So even David said he was grieved with them. Read. I hate yeah. them with perfect hatred. Uh huh. I count them mine enemies. So understand, we ain't got the power of David yet. But when we get that power and we get that authority from Christ, we're going to take care of business. You understand that? Yeah, I do, sir. All right. All praise. All praise. Hey, hey, I appreciate you, brother. That took a weight off me, brother. All praise all to the Lord. Hey, 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 yeah. Yeah. Can I uh, go back to Romans 12? Yeah. Romans 12 and uh, 19. Mm -hmm. That second part of that verse uh, definitely explains that patience that we got to have yeah, dealing that. with the other nations. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. Avenge not yourselves. But rather give place unto wrath. Uh -huh. For it is written, uh -huh. vengeance is mine. Vengeance is the Lord's, read. I will repay, saith the Lord. Right. The Lord has a the Lord has perfect hatred for them. So just yeah. be patient. We're gonna keep the commandments and our time is gonna come. Hey, I wanna say something else on that too. Hold on, let's take this call first. Hey, Shalom. The scriptures say where there is no vision, the people perish. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live. On IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. I'm going to show you and prove to you that the Israelites are black. We're always black. Dance no time. Just move up your body. Don't get loose and groove on the body. Bruce wine. Put on the arm of the procedure complete. Me not go back now, retreat, I'll treat as every Jesse Bell must get delete. Me no sleep on a demon, me keep a full clip, conspire me down, fuck at them once to me slip, stay close to the real ones, we see laugh and legit, cause I gotta use them to keep your soul from the pit, this a wildlife, I swear they call first. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller, what's your name, question or comment, where you calling from? Hey, this is Jay, I'm calling from Cali, bro. Cali in the building tonight, okay. what's going on, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I just got a quick comment, man. That 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 scamp down there in Florida who went there and killed our people. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, listen. They still messed up about the about the Alabama brawl, man. <laughs> man, you know, man. Listen, hold on, listen, man. You know how our people was turned up and they was they was up in arms and right. yeah, Alabama, Alabama, Alabama. Shit, that white boy said, listen, no. These monkeys getting out of hand. Right. It's time. To, it's, it's, it's time to remind them that all you gonna do is pick up a chair. You ain't gonna pick up nothing else. So, so go back and pray to your God. Cause, Cause listen, they know they know they ended right. They know what's gonna happen to them. That dude who did that, he know what's gonna happen to him. Right. And they know one thing about it: to shut y'all up. 
All we gotta do is come in there and mow y'all down. Mm. That's all we gotta do. Now hold on. You don't you don't hear black folks talking now, do you? Right, right. You don't hear you you don't hear black folks talking now because they terrified. Are y'all doing a good job? I'm, I'm gonna let y'all go, bro. All praises. Hey. That's a, that's a, hey, that that was a good yeah. uh, thought. Ain't nobody said nothing about right, that. Right. You brought out a good point, bro. Right. All praise to the Most High. So, uh, hold on, somebody else is calling, wasn't it? No, I think you say you want to touch on that. Uh, yeah. No, no, I, I, if somebody was calling, we could take the call. But oh yeah, I did want to touch on something. I wanted to deal with what the brother said before the the, the last call. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> See, I knew the phone the phone line was not working early. I don't care what y'all say, IT. <laughs> hey, hey, IT, y'all know the point, baby. <laughs> hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question or comment? Where you calling from? Hey, Shalom. This this brother Oha again. Okay. Uh, from Philly Camp. Yes, sir. Um, Dr. Brothers in down down south. He, he um older brother that that been going through uh going dealing with Esau right. down south. Now down south, Esau lets you know right up front how much he hates you. Right. Now I've been going through that up north. Right. And they sneaky with it up here. Yeah. They backstab you with the racism up here. Hmm. So um I've been thinking about what, what the bishops and, and the deacons been going with, but they've been telling us a lot lately. They've been telling us a lot to train ourselves to hate sin. Right. Yep. So yep. that'll help him out a lot because that's been helping me out a lot mm. to start hating sin right. as much as possible. Mm. That's and a heavy that, point. That's keeping me away from everybody that's in the midst of sin. Right. And get, everybody around me except for my brothers in Israel. You're all praises. So that might help him out a lot. That's been helping me out. All that's praise, all right. praises. You was trying to get that tenth caller, oh huh? Uh huh. Somebody else get tenth caller. I've got mine. All praise, all praise. All praise the Most High. That's good. I just want to help the enemy out. All right, all right. All right. Hey, he make a valid point because here's the thing. You know, this shooting, it happened on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. It happened on the Sabbath. And even t with the other brother's point, we understand that stuff. It frustrates you when you see right. that stuff happen to your people. The Lord told us to gather together, mm -hmm. nation not desired. Right, right. This is why we try to convey to our people. We got a big camp up there in Jacksonville mm -hmm. that go out in the street all the time. Repent, it's the Sabbath day. Repent, it's the Sabbath day. Right. If they was inside the congregation, he right. wouldn't even be yeah. in harm's way. There you go. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question, comment, where you calling from? Shalom, what's on Christ bless? This is Quintus. I'm from Louisiana. I just have a comment um, about the shooting in um, in Florida. Mm -hmm. Really, it just my condolences go out to the family, and then it's sad because our people are constantly, consistently love them, no matter how much you tell them. You know, you try to tell them who they are, right? And you prove it behind with biblical scriptures and stuff like that. It, it's just really sad, though. But, you know, we who are in the truth know what the end is, and we know we got to win. Um, but it, that's the only thing I want to say. It's just sad, though. Like, we had to constantly see this, like, a white guy constantly killing black people just because, oh, I wake up. Oh, I'm just going to go shoot me a whole bunch of blacks today. Yep. So that's the only thing I wanted to say, though. Um, if I can, I wanted to say something about a scripture that I had in mind that I was reading over. Go ahead. What's the scripture? <clears throat> the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 31. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, forgive to repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. What you want to bring out on that, sis? Now, I was just saying, like, you know, if Israel would just repent, right. and, you know, um, just repent, basically, God, you know, he's going to send for us no matter what. If we just repent for our sins and, you know, follow his commandments and do right. So, um, you know, All and they keep the commandments and, you know, just stuff like that. But we're so stubborn and self net people. So, you know, he just had to show us. All praise. All praise. Thank, thank you for calling in, sis. Let me see if I can get this out. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I tell you, the phone yeah, not working. He's all the back of the court. Right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, call What's your name? Question, your comment. Where you calling from? Hey, how you doing? My name is Brother Robinson. Brother Robinson, what's going on with you? Yeah, I'm just calling about what you just said. If they were, uh, if they were following the commandments, 
and not be out there shopping right. on the Sabbath, that would happen to them. Right, right. You know, and it's just like uh, my my family. You know, I, they they grew up in church. My older sister, all of them, and I've tried to you know um, put on Israel not in Christ. Let them let them hear what what Bishop what you guys are saying. But they're just like like the the scripture said. They're seared with an iron. I forgot what scripture that was. You know, but that's how they are. They they will not change. You know, it's just like uh, my sister called me today, and she was telling me like she does every single Sunday, and I'm like, the Sunday is not the day of worship. You know, oh yeah, we had a good service. Oh, with the hooping and hollering, yeah, really, <laughs> and 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 all the singing. And there's no scripture being read. Right. Probably one scripture. Yep. The preacher only only reads one scripture, and then he goes off, rants and raves about everything. Yep. You know, and I'm like, come on, man, come on, come on, and it's like I've tried to tell them. Just listen, just listen. You know, I have a collection of uh, Bishop Nathaniel and uh, the Deacon ASAP since uh, 2016. Mm. And they're like, oh, I mean, I have a, I think I've told you before, because I've called here before. I have a brother that's, uh, he has um, a PhD in, in uh, uh, theology. Mm. And I've given him certain um, scriptures that Bishop have, have, have given. And I'm like, okay, what does this mean? Oh, I'll tell you what it means later. I don't have no time later. <laughs> and then he tells me, oh, you know, that's a cult. I said, no, it's not. Right. That's the men of God. Those are the prophets of God. Right. You know, he tells me, no, 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 no. I'm like, whatever, man. You know, so I just move away from them. I do not like, uh, I mean, it's my family and everything, but I'll pull away from them completely. Right. Pull away completely. Yeah. So that's all I had to say, my brothers. All praise. And I, I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you, brothers. All praise to the most high. Thanks for calling. All, all right, hey, hold the, hold the calls. I T, hold the calls. I got to get this point. Yeah, bring it out. Bring it out. Because the brother made a point. Yeah. He made a point about you know what to do right now. Right. Um, and some some people will say a lot of people will say I'm more radical brothers will say all y'all doing is reading out of the Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. But what y'all don't understand is what we're doing is fulfilling prophecy. Go to uh first, Second Thessalonians. Uh, two one. Yep. Second Thessalonians, what we're doing, this is what you do right now with your feelings and emotions that you have. Mm -hmm. We got to reveal who this man is. It ain't for us to take up arms. It ain't for us to be violent. It ain't for us to, 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 to try to harm uh, those of the other nations. This is all God asks us to do right now. You got that? Which one, two and ten? Uh, thought it, two and three. three. Yeah. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. So the day of, of, of the Lord will not come unless there be a falling away first. Meaning what? The nation of Israel must fall away from who they are. We got to experience Jeremiah 17 and 4, Deuteronomy 28, 68, Deuteronomy 28, 68, 64. All of these things have to happen. Um, Luke 20, 24 and 21, all that had to come to pass. Read. And that man of sin. And what? And that man of sin uh -huh. be revealed. The what? Be revealed. The man of sin. This is what I thought was funny. The brother said, I'm training myself to hate sin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing yeah. the white man is sin. Right, yeah. right. He's the ringleader. <laughs> right. That's a bomb. He is the leader of sin. So right. inherently, you're going to have some type of feeling right. of disgust for this man. Right. right. Why? Because he appoints sin in your life. Right. Yeah. He makes you. Eat pork. Right. He makes it lawful. He makes you uh uh accept LGBT. He, yeah, right. uh, homosexual for your job. sex. Or, or, All or, or, of these or, or. different things. His lifestyle and his way of living mm. is built upon and based on sin. Right. You right. So you're going to have a certain level of feelings for this man who has appointed your whole life mm. for you to be destroyed. Right. right. Read it again though. Mm. Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Read. And that man of sin be revealed. The man of sin be revealed. Read. The son of perdition. The son of perdition. So right now, we have to reveal who the man of sin is. That's right. right. And we're showing y'all that with these things that we're showing you in the news, week in, week right. out. Mm, the right. shootings. The the um the diseases they're spreading, right. the economics, the finances, the education system, right. every different facet and walk of life. This man has poisoned it to what to lead to the death of our people, and so that he can try to continue to live his life. Right. 
But guess what? That ain't how it's going down. That's it right. ain't going down like that. Hey, hey, hey Kat, let yep. me back you up real quick. Because Christ felt the same way. Mm-hmm. Go to Revelations 2 and 9. Bring it out. Go to Revelations 2 and 9. Jesus Christ. And remember how Christ dealt with Herod and them, um, Pilate and them. He didn't respond to them. He didn't give them no acknowledgement. He he didn't he didn't give them nothing to feed off of, uh, you know, to say that he was going around preaching hate. Meanwhile, what he was preaching was bringing the destruction of Rome, mm-hmm. the destruction of Esau. Revelations two and nine. The book of Revelation, chapter two and verse nine. Uh-huh. I know thy works uh-huh. and tribulation. And what? And tribulation. Christ understands our pain. You got the greatest black man ever walked the earth and suffered the greatest death you've ever heard on the right. earth. To this day, they still talk about how he was crucified. To this day. Read. And poverty. And he knows the poverty that this uh, enemy has caused to us. Read. But thou art rich. But he says we are rich because all the blessings in the Bible pertain to the Israelites. Read. And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews. He know Herod was a liar. He know Antip- Antipas was a liar. He know all of them was lies calling themselves Jews. Read. Right. And are not. And are not. Read. But are the synagogue of Satan. Christ already told you, they the, they the son of the devil, the son of perdition. So guess what? Christ felt the same way too, but mm. he understood. I'm going to stay in the scriptures because when it's time, hey, what was that? Oh, matter of fact, uh, give me that in Psalms. It just came to mind. Psalms chapter 2. The patience of the saints. Psalms chapter 2. Is that what I want? Yeah. Psalms chapter 2 and uh, I think it's verse 6. Yeah, start of verse 6. The book of Psalm chapter 2 and verse 6. Yet I have set my king. No, I'm sorry. Start of verse 5. Verse 5. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Uh Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Speaking about Jesus the Christ, read. I will declare the decree. Uh The Lord had said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. Read. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen. You got to read that strong. (laughs) Ask of me, and I shall give thee the The heathen. heathen. Read. For thine inheritance. For thine inheritance, read. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. This is what the Father's telling Christ. Read. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Hold on. When the time comes, what's going to happen? Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Read. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. But right now, what you got to do, read. Be be wise now, therefore. But right now, we got to use wisdom. Read. O ye kings. O ye kings, you Israelite men and women. Read. Be instructed, ye judges Judges of of the the earth. earth. So there you go. So guess what? You can imagine the patience Christ sent up there with, like just biding his time. Right. And Father said, hey, son, it's go time. Man, listen. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I already told him, Lord willing, I pray I get to see it. I'm coming outside like, yeah, buddy, it's time to go down. (laughs) That's right. Like, oh, Yehaziel, he was right. (laughs) (laughs) Yehaziel. Hey, can I get one scripture with that too? Bring it out. Hey, because uh, some people will call it karma. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. people would call say what goes around, what comes around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. We we call it judgment, right? Right? That's what it is. Righteous <laughs> judgment. Give me uh, Second Thessalonians one and six, because this is why our people have to understand. This is where we build our faith. This is our hope, right? Right? That we build ourselves on, and this is what continues to make us build and grow and preach this truth to, to the four corners of the earth. <laughs> Second Thessalonians chapter one and verse six. Uh-huh. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God uh-huh. to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. You see, God said it is righteous right. to recompense <clears throat> tribulation to them that trouble mm. you. Come on. And to you who are troubled, uh-huh. rest with us. That's our rest. That's our hope. Mm-hmm. That's our comfort of the scriptures. That's right. right. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven uh-huh. with his mighty angels. Christ is coming back with the army. Right. He's coming back with the army to recompense tribulation. Come on. In flaming fire. Uh-huh. Taking vengeance. Taking on, what? Taking vengeance. Taking vengeance. On them uh-huh. that know not God. Who knows that God? The, the synagogue of Satan. That's right. 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 <laughs> And they that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, Uh who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord 
and from the glory of his power. All praises. All hey, all turn praises. the callers back on. Yeah. How it was at the beginning of the show. <laughs> I mean, how it wasn't at the beginning of the show. See, right now, y'all rolling how y'all was at the beginning of the show. It's all right, right though, IT. We're going we gonna to bear with you. Yeah. Turn what? the calls back on. And oh. see that? There that you there go. Go. Yeah. All was all ready. They was ready. To, Officer Daniel dropping them precepts. He's like, I got to weigh in on that. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question or comment? Where you calling from? Um, this is Darren calling from North Carolina. I was just calling to make a comment with the brother had called in earlier was saying how you deal with Esau and right. I know the scripture y'all pulled out but uh, he right it, it's hard to dwell <laughs> with them every day having right. to work with them and stuff but I did what Bishop said dude when we work we work right. after work's over with ain't no going to my house having no good right. Right. Kind of deal. <laughs> happy <All right>. hour <laughs> Lee Esau at work there you family. go family there <laughs> you go them people hate us yep y'all have to know that all phrases you want to I'm number correct. 10. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't number 10, bro. You ain't number 10. Yeah, almost there. Almost he tried to front oh, like yeah. he was calling for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's okay. Hey, thank you for calling in, bro. Too long, bro. Hey, hey Cap, I, can I just touch back on something you said? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a, a heavy point. Dang. <laughs> Another call to operate. They're trying to get that 10. They're trying to get that 10. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, call it. You tell but um. My name is Mark, uh, calling from Minnesota. Minnesota. I wanted to call in. Yeah, I wanted to call in. Um, since we're on this patient thing, I wanted to uh, have the brothers and sisters be a little bit more patient in traffic. Also, uh, lay off the horn. Don't honk it right. anybody because they're shooting people, man. For, right. For no, just getting out of the car. Mm. And it, I grew up in Elevator, Arkansas, bottom part of it, and I grew up with. Mr. KKK, I mean, having to uh, try and get to my grandmother's house, and we have to walk past a, their little clubhouse, and they would chase us. And, so I've seen this stuff, man. But, yeah, they do have a perpetual hatred for us, period. Right. So it's just, uh, just the way traffic also. I mean, I deal with road rage sometimes myself. I mean, I get angry. Right. But I do know now I have to catch myself before I honk that horn because you don't know what anybody got right. in their mind to do for that day. Right, know, right, what right. they're feeling like at that moment. All praise, all praise. Well, thank you for calling in, bro. Hey, regardless of, regardless. Yeah, it's a yeah, hotline. It's, it's a wrap. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's number 10. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question, comment. Shalom, Mark. I'm sorry, Shalom. What's going on? Not much. I just wanted to call in and say, man, y'all brothers are doing a great thing with the show. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying the show. All praise. Hey, what just what? You did call it, man. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> you are the tip caller of the day. <laughs> we, got, we got to come up with a. Uh, I thought they did change it. A uh, uh, Southern Kingdom version of this. Right. When we going to get that song? Like, hey, I need a song by the end of the week. <laughs> you need what? I need a song by the end of the week. All right, I got you. Hey, Carly, you still there? Carly, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm here dancing like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy. Oh, crazy. So, so, so what's, your, what's, your, what's your question or comment? Or did you already get it out? I already got it. I just wanted to say thank you, brothers, man. I appreciate all the things y'all do for the truth, man. Y'all bring it out. Oh, pray. Hey, well, so this is what I need you to do. You're the 10th caller today. I need you to email us, iuic.orlando at israelunite.org. Send us your address. We're going to send you something for being the 10th caller and showing love and support of the show. All right? I definitely will. I forgot to say, uh, it's Brother Obadiah from Kentucky. Brother Obadiah, Obadiah. from Kentucky. All oh, praise. The home of Captain Zakar. Yeah. The blue gray. Right. Thank you, brothers, for all you do. All praise, all praise. All praise. All praise. All praise. Fire. 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 What was you about to say? What I was, was going to say? say, regardless of he said, the brother said, you they never call no more. That was it. <laughs> you never know right. what Esau thinking. So he was like, you never know. You got to keep your. No. Nah. After reading the scriptures and understand the spirit of Esau, right. I don't care if I'm at the grocery store, right. if I'm at work, right. I'm always circumspect because yep. I feel like yep. right. if they get the opportunity, let's yep. say you you just so having yep. to work an extra hour at work today, right. mm. and they they say, look here, yep. you never know. Yep. So right. I'm always looking. 
you know, I'm still going to the store looking for the next gunman. Hey, I I don't trust him. Right. Yeah, so, right. hey, you got you, you to gotta keep your eyes open. I live like a Jew. Right. <laughs> no, I thought, I thought, I thought. Yeah, yeah nah, 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 hey, I'm still stuck on that comment you made. Um, And 2 Thessalonians 2, right? Right. Cap mentioned how once we start to keep the commandments, it's evident that you're going to see who the man of sin right, is. Right, right, right. So it just threw me back to Christianity. Mm -hmm. As long as you're in Christianity, you will never right. find, you know yep, what I'm saying? Right, you will yep. always have that affinity mm -hmm. with yes. your enemy yeah. because you don't see who mm -hmm. is the man of sin, sin who is right. promoting sin because you're a part of it. Yep. Um, jump to 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14. So in their eyes, they, hey, they, oh, white people's ain't bad. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. KB. Read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Se 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and <laughs> verse 14. Yep, bring it up. And no marvel, for Satan himself uh -huh. is transformed into an angel of light. Right. So even though, even in the churches, they, they bring forth the Bible, right? They seem as though they angels of light. They seem like they, they can do no, no wrong. But the Lord is saying is like Captain said, I can't say it no better than he did. But whenever we push forth the laws of God, mm. it's evident you will find out and see who the children of Satan are. You'll mm. find out and see who the man of sin is. Right. So that's why, like you said, just teaching the Bible, that's all we got to do. That's it. Hey, that's, that's, it. That's, that's actually a good uh, segue. A hey, pull-up video hey. 13. Mm. You know, we're just going to keep flowing. <laughs> pull up video 13. Oh, no, we're going to keep flowing. Yeah. Video, yeah, video yeah, we 13. Went down, hold on, we can't go to 13 because it's the most stuff in this article. Oh, I thought it was. Uh -huh. I didn't even know we, I forgot about the article. <laughs> no, we, got, we might stay here the rest of the show. I forgot about the article. Hey, right. take the call. You took the call yet? Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Oh. Question, comment. Where you calling from? Let your windows up. Shalom. Brother Judah. Brother Judah? Uh huh. Where you calling from? I ain't dropping. Come out of Texas. Texas? Out of okay, okay. What's your question or comment? Uh, I just want to, first and foremost, I want to give you brothers credit, man, for the work y'all do. Definitely appreciate it, man. Learned a lot, learned a lot from you brothers. All crazy for that. Uh, my comment is just uh, is on the shooting. I wonder if you brothers can elaborate on the scripture real quick uh, that happened down in Jacksonville. When I heard about it, man, kind of like the other caller said from Cali, I'm like, man, this is like payback for what happened in Alabama. But on the flip side, they're going through the fear. I was thinking, like, look, you know, vengeance is of the Lord. So at the end of the day, the most high is showing us, man, you know, who our enemy is and that we always got to walk circumspect. And like you brothers always bring out, that this is not our place of rest, man. Right, right. So when that incident happened, it's just to remind us, stay in the spirit. Don't get comfortable here, man, because, hey, the most high hand is over to our enemy. So I just want to touch on that, brothers. Thank y'all, man, for everything y'all do, huh? All praise to the most high. Thank you for calling in, bro. Hey, pull back up the order. I just want to go down to the bottom part, what he said. He said something about um why he did it. Because I know everybody calling in about this topic. I want to make sure y'all understand. Scroll down. Uh, scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, go up, go up, go up. The FBI. All right. Yeah. You see go it? ahead, yep. Because I want y'all to understand why he did it, why, it. why he did what he did. Who's here watching the show right now? The FBI <laughs> has opened a civil rights investigation into the shooting, which it is treated as a hate crime. Mm -hmm. The attack happened less than a mile from the historically black Edwards Waters University. So he knew exactly where he was going. It's an HBCU right down the street. Mm. He knew all the students, the faculty workers, mm. the administration. They, were, they may be using this same... Um, um, store. So he knew exactly where he was going. Scroll down, though. I wanted to get about the manifestos and stuff. Uh, keep going, keep going. Oh, they may not go into it on this one. Keep going. So that, that premeditated. Yep. All right, don't worry about it. Cool. Go ahead. What we had next, Austin? Hey, can I make one comment on that? Yeah. So the gunman killed himself. Mm -hmm. Right. But now the FBI wants to do an investigation after he killed himself. <laughs> so how does that help? How does that help the families? Right. How does that help the people? Right. right. There's no there's no judgment. And he already judged himself. Yep. Yeah. So judge, jury and executioner. Mm -hmm. That's what he saw. Even in his death, he prideful. Nobody this on my turn. Hey, right. Kill right. me, but me. They present themselves a living sacrifice yep. for the white nation. Yep. <laughs> Now.
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.